Our fall sports previews take us out onto the soccer pitch today as we focus on the Ephrata Boys soccer team. What a year in 2012, an 11-3 record in the league and adding a win in the District 3 playoffs as well. well this year is a wide open field in Section 2 where Manheim Central has a new coach, as do the Eagles of Calico. So the Mounts might be able to make yet another run at a title. And they will have to do it without 11 seniors from last year's squad. A huge void to fill for any team, let alone one with championship aspirations. But as always, Rob Dininger's effort amounts have tons of confidence that this year's club will meet that challenge. This new group, um, I've been around, they saw that, and uh, they're ready to, to take that challenge. Uh, you know, there's, uh, there's about eight, nine of them, and... Uh, yeah, quite a few of them will start. Losing those 11 seniors, that hurt us, but we are a strong group. We will not back down from a challenge. We'll go in there with 100% heart and win it. We have a bunch of good leadership between the seniors, and we have a bunch of underclassmen that can step up and fill the role of the people that graduated from last year. Now on the field, Ephrata will have to rely on their quickness and tough defense, which is anchored by Cole DeHaven, who Coach Dininger says might be the best goalie in the entire league. But the goal this year remains the same repeat as Section 2 champs, and the Mounts know that it will be tough with teams like Manheim Central, Garden Spot, and LS gunning for them every game. Yeah, every game will be a nightmare, uh, and that's fine. Um, some of the, you know, everybody's caught up to us. So we know everyone's going to be coming for us, so that makes us work harder at practice. When our coach says, let's do a sprint, we want to do one more. We want to be the best team here. Our teamwork, our communication, and the fact that we won the section last year, so we have a uh, tradition to uphold, and I think we're ready for it. The harder we work, the better we will get. So if we work together as a team very hard, we'll probably be the best in the league. Soccer action is oh so close, just four days away. Ephrata begins their title defense this Saturday on the road at Cedarcrest at 1 p.m.